Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial and you are watching KK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the string class in Java. As we know that as a Java developer, a string class in Java is very important. So in this video tutorial, we'll cover some of the basic concept about a string class in Java and next video series, we'll see some in in depth concept about the same. Now let's try to understand what is a string in Java. In Java, a string class represents character strings, which means a string in Java are objects. And all strings are instances of the string class in Java. Internally, in a string class, strings are stored as character array. So if you go to the string class, and here you can see uh, array has been declared as a private final char. So, so basically, a string is stored in this character array, and that's the things. I want to do, tell you in the slides. <coughs> now, since strings are objects, so strings can of course be created using the new operator, right? A string class has more than 15 constructor to uh, create a strings in Java, which ranges from taking nothing as parameter to char, array, a string buffer, a string builder, another a strings as an argument. So if you press Ctrl O and here you can see you have a more than 15 constructor, a string constructor which takes no parameter, a string parameter and many more, right? So you can use appropriate constructor to create an object of a string, right? As example, how you can create an object of a string. So here you can see using new operator, you can create a string and I have called the constructor which takes a string as an argument, right? So this is uh, also one of the uh, way to create a string object. But in most preferred way to create a string is to assign a string literal directly to the string references as uh, you do for any primitive type. For uh, every string literal, Java automatically constructs a string object. So another way to create a string is to directly you can assign a string literal to the string reference and Java will JVM will create an object for this string on the runtime, right? Uh, <coughs> but having uh, a string literals brings another dimension to uh, storing a strings in Java. If uh, it were only a string objects, those will go in the heap with their own space. But a string literals are treated differently. Uh, they are stored in the a string pool. And uh, what is common pool which means if there are two strings literals having the same content then those string will share the uh, share the space in the pool so let's try to understand this this, this is through a pictorial diagram so here you can see uh, here i have created a, a two string using the string literal so a string 1 str1 and str2 having the same value right so here what happens when a string object is created by assigning a string literal pool will be checked to verify if there is any existing object with with the same content if there is then that existing reference is used no new object is created in that case if no object is found uh, with the same content then this new literal will be added in the pool or a, a string pool so that's the concept basically apply so initially when created a string using str equal to abc then that will be added into the pool when you try to create uh, another string with the same uh, string literal then first of all uh, basically jvm will check whether uh, already a string is uh, available in the string constant pool with the same value if that is the there then same reference will be returned to the uh, str2 so new object will not be created right so let's try to understand through an example as well so here i have created a many example client one till client five so let's understand client one client test one so here you can see i have created a two string str1 and str2 with the same string literal value now now as we know that in java double equals to basically check that checks the reference so as you can see in the picture both are reference referencing to the same object so this will definitely this is going to return you true so double equals to check whether str1 and str2 is pointing to the same object in the memory or not if i run this application then uh, code what we have written in the if block that will be executed 
and here you can, you can see str1 and str2 are same is getting printed right so this is the one of the example of a string constant pool and how we can create using a string using a string literal right now let's uh, try to understand some other concept as well uh, now if we create uh, a strings using new operator then uh, compare reference co then compare reference they should uh, be diff little different now here uh, you can see so this example already we have seen if you have created a string using a string literal and both uh, a string uh, basically holds the same string literal then this is gonna be true and you get output uh, whatever written in the if block right this statement becomes true because both str1 str2 is pointing to the same string but when you create a string using a new operator right so here str3 and str4 both is having the same value but uh, this is gonna be false so here str3 and str4 is basically pointing to the different object in the memory right and that's what this is going to be false right again if you compare str1 and str4 so str1 we have created a string using a string literal and str4 we have created a string using new operator so this is going to point to the uh, uh, a string literal which is which belongs to the basically basically heap memory right and uh, uh, str4 sorry str1 basically going to point to the string literal which is available in the string constant pool and str4 we have created a string using new operations that is going to point in the point into the into the another address in the heap so of course this is going to be false and else part will be executed so if i run this application then in similar fashion you get the output right uh, first saying that str1 and str2 are same then second uh, of course that is going to be executed else part because these two objects is pointing to the different uh, address on the memory and similarly this string cons uh, uh, string literal and this string object is pointing to a different address in the memory and that's what we are getting output from here right now we have a several example but let's come back to the slides and here we'll see some more concept now one of the very important concept about is a string intern method so that's very important so using intern method you can uh, still get a string object from the pool if it exists even if new operator is used to create right so even though if you have created a, a string using new operator and if you call intern method on it then that same string will be added into the uh, basically uh, uh, string constant pool if that uh, uh, that uh, string is not available right if a string is uh, not available that will be added if same string is available in the string constant pool uh, then reference will be returned to you so here you can see the explanation when the intern method is invoked if pool already contains a string equal to the this string object when i say this string means i'm talking about the string on which you are calling the intern method right so if you a string equal to the this string object is determined by the equals method then the string from the pool is returned otherwise this string object is added to the pool and reference to this string uh, this string object is returned right so let's try to understand these things through an example and that's what we have a client uh, 4 right sorry client 3 so here you can see initially i have created two string string 1 and str2 with string literal and this is gonna be true and you will get a response as this again str3 and str4 i have created then str3 and str4 so this is going to be created in the heap because we have used a new operator but here str4 i have called the intern method so what do you think str3 equals to equals to str4 is going to be true or false so this is going to be uh, basically so str3 equals equal to str4 so this is going to be false so else part you will get as output right but because we have created these two string using new operator but what about this statement str1 equals equals to str4 so str1 is nothing string literal right abc now in str4 of course we have created a string using new operator but we have called the intern method and what's the concept of intern method intern method is going to check this 
a b c is available in the string constant pool is or not so that is available already there right because we have created uh, a string with this value so same reference is gonna return to you and now if you compare str1 equals equal to str4 then this is going to return you as true and this will be printed if i run this application then you can see we have got the output as we have discussed in the same fashion right so now let's come back and there are more concept about the string class so in this uh, uh, slides we will talk uh, string class features so these are the basically features uh, which is going to provided by the string class but uh, these features i am going to cover in the next uh, series of video tutorials in this video tutorials we have seen the basic concept about the string class in java so guys uh, i hope you enjoy learning this video and please be with me in the next video tutorial so that we'll learn some more concept about the string class in java so guys big thank you for watching this video and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel